So here we have the BMW 5 Series Touring on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door estate vehicle with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge. We have the speedometer as you move uh, from there to the right. Uh, then the trip computer in the centre. You can see the total miles of the car, which is 74,130. Moving right from there, we have the rev counter and cool and temperature gauges. You can change information displayed in the uh, center there by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. We have stereo and phone controls on the right-hand side. The plus and minus pedals are so that you can change up and down a gear manually with this automatic gearbox. Over in the centre, we then have BMW's business nav, which of course includes satellite navigation. Uh, really nice, clear colour display, as you can see. All the movement that I was doing just then, it's all being done using the iDrive system, which is essentially this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So you can go to the main menu from here. You'll be able to uh, listen to your music via the radio. Uh, we have AM, FM and DAB, as you can see. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You do that under the multimedia heading. We have a CD player and external devices, which will be uh, USB input, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary input as well. And to pair your phone, just go to the telephone heading and then go down to Bluetooth devices and follow the instructions on screen from there. Working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo, the CD player, and then dual zone climate control beneath that. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can determine where you like the air to be distributed once it enters the car. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. When you're happy with those settings, that button will turn your air conditioning on and it's on when that green light shows. It'll turn it off again as well, of course. Or hit auto, the car will now take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain those two temperatures for you. Press auto, get auto again and it'll go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same over on the passenger side as well. You can open up this storage to reveal two cup holders, a cigarette lighter which can be used as a 12 volt charging socket as well. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. We can turn off the traction control and change the driving setup of the car from here as well. So uh, the vehicle at the moment was in comfort mode. You can put it in sport. You can go back down to comfort which is your everyday driving and then Eco Pro as well. And then finally, we have an electronic handbrake with auto hold function. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.